We continue our team coverage now with our investigative reporter, Terry Parker. Terry has been at the hospital where most of the victims are. And, and Terry, really, there still are so many questions left unanswered tonight. There really are, but the good news on one hand is that of the eight gunshot victims who came here to Longwood Regional Medical Center, seven do have non-life-threatening injuries except for one person whose arm was actually shattered by a bullet and is undergoing surgery. But sadly, the sad news is that one victim did die this morning. That 30-year-old woman is a mother. She lived here in Fort Pierce. Police and family telling us that she was at the MLK event yesterday and she was shot as that chaos broke out as she stood at a food truck ordering a meal. Her six-year-old daughter was with her and saw it all, according to her family. That little girl went to school this morning not knowing that her mom didn't make it. Other family members were standing by to give her the tragic news this afternoon. The victim was a cosmetologist who grew up here in Fort Pierce, and her family tells me they are still just overcome with shock. I'm going to have much more information on the victim, who she was, and what we know about her, as well as some new uh, insights into the investigation that I've learned this afternoon. That's all coming up tonight at 5 and 6. In Fort Pierce, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News, Tiffany Bunt. All right, Terry, thank you. And of course, all of our hearts have been so heavy thinking about that little girl probably having just the most amazing time here with her mom and uh, for all of that to turn so quickly. Our, our thoughts and prayers certainly with the victim's family today.